What's up? You are in the kitchen with your girl Coco, cooking with Coco, Chef Coco Black, aka the Sheet Chef, BKA Serena Wins at a culinary game, whatever you want to call me. But anyway, we in here tonight, okay? Know that. Hold up. Uh uh. Why ain't nobody. Hold up. Why well, I look like I'm missing a whole daggone brain? Like I'm bald right there or something? Mm -mm. These edges. Somebody remind me to slick these edges down next time or something. Because what in the... Anyway. We're going to be cooking breakfast for dinner tonight, y'all. Do not mind this old ratchet mess right here. Because they have not <laughs> been yet. But it's okay. We ain't going to worry about it. We ain't going to worry about it. Because I ain't even going to blast them like that. I ain't going to do them like that. Anyway. <laughs> Tonight, I am really, really in the mood for some breakfast, y'all. So, check it. We doing some steak. Because y'all know I'm fat. <laughs> okay? I know y'all be like, sometimes we see this girl and she's skinny. Sometimes we see her and she fat. Which one is she? Right now, I am currently fat. So, <laughs> this pandemic has been getting the girl. Okay? This pandemic has been getting the girl. Anyway... I'm both of them, if you was wondering. Is she skinny? Is she fat? She both of them. Mad yours. All right? Anyway, so we're going to do some steak and eggs tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Steak and eggs. Yes, I got my steak over here marinating. Hold on. Uh, and that sheet marinade because y'all already know I be handing marinate everything because I love layers of flavor. Say it with me, y'all. Layers of flavor. Okay? If it ain't from scratch, it ain't chef black. We love the layers of flavor. Oh, and let's not, uh uh, let's not act like y'all don't see them. Don't act like y'all don't see them. Them sauces peaking. Them sauces peaking. Hold up. Oh, get your sheet crazy sauces. Anyway, back to this goddamn gold breakfast for dinner situation. I got my pans over here heating up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get a little, get a little closer, y'all. Got the pans over here heating up. Getting nice and hot for us. And I'm going to go ahead and start on these potatoes. Because over here, I already got some potatoes that I done boiled. They got some seasoning on them. Just a little bit of garlic, onion, Cajun. You know, Larry's. You know, a little, little something. Nothing major. Anyway, this is going to be the pan that we doing our potatoes in. So, get our little olive oil in there. I got me some onions and bell peppers diced up. Okay. Yes, y'all hear that sizzle? Because we already had that pit. Get your pans hot. Get your pans hot. For, not for real, y'all. It look like I'm bald right there. I'm not bald. Everybody know I got him. Okay? Him. Not hair. I got him. Lots of it. Cuts it at least, <laughs> at least once a year. Okay? Good hair. Good thick. Black girl rock hair. All right, all right. Let's just be... Let's just be clear. I just needed us to be clear. Anyway, while these onions and bell peppers is working, I got my pan back here getting hot too. But it's good old ribeye. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop playing. It ain't no ribeye. I found me a nice chuck ass steak for a good price. Who ain't get it? Did get it. Guess what? Just as tender and has as much marbling as a ribeye. It's delicious. And it's a great breakfast steak if you didn't know. Our peppers and onions is over here working, baby. I like a lot of onions, so I'm going to add a little more. Just a little more. You know what I'm saying? Do what you want to do. Because I'm not you and you're not me, okay? Boom. That pan's about there getting hot. It's almost hot as where I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and add these potatoes up in here. Like I said, again, my potatoes already got some good seasoning on them. Look at them. They already got they seasoning. And I use white potatoes. I just bought the potatoes and some salt water after I got there gonna put a fork or a knife through them you know I said slide out easy went ahead and um <clears throat> excuse me y'all uh -uh. went ahead and um drank the water on those potatoes and then I just doused them with a little bit of olive oil just a little bit of olive oil and went ahead and put my seasons on so I could set them to the side and just go ahead and throw them in the pan when I was ready for y'all because I didn't want to do all that on camera because I said I didn't want to do all that on camera okay thank you <laughs> oh y'all listen this uh, a little extra virgin olive oil, y'all. But I'm putting that in this pan back here for this steak. Yes. And when you see that oil start crawling back as soon as it hit the pan, you know that pan is hot, baby. It's ready. 
I'm ready for this good old chic marinated chuck out, chuck out, chuck out steak. Ooh, baby cakes. Listen. Listen. I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> Ain't lied to you. <laughs> Y'all already know how it goes down. Anyway, I'm go ahead and Little adjustment so y'all can see what's going on over here. Yes. They give it to me. Ready to hit that pan? Uh, uh, that's what you want to hear. Anytime that meat hit the pan, you want to hear that thing sizzle. I love a sizzle. Love a sizzle. Love a sizzle like music to my ears. Love a sizzle. <laughs> Woo, y'all. Let me stop playing with y'all, but nah, for real. Listen. Have fun in the kitchen. Food is a way of life for me. Like, it gets me my life, okay? It is a stress reliever. I'm usually nice, fun, and bubbly in the kitchen, especially when I'm in the kitchen by myself. I do prefer to be in the kitchen by myself. This is my safe place, my safe haven, okay? We got our stuff over here going, y'all, for real. Y'all don't even understand. I really want some good breakfast food. Like, really. Now, lately I've been doing this thing where I've been going to, you know, different restaurants and just um, ordering food, buying food. If I don't like it, I'm stopping somewhere else before I get home and I'm getting something else. Just spending too much money on food when I'm a whole chef, though. Like, mm -mm, for real, y'all. I don't know what's been up, but I have not been... Feeling like cooking like that. So I said, you know what, Coco? No, we're going to stop this because you haven't been satisfied like you want to be satisfied. You're spending all this good money. You know what I'm saying? And you could be home making the food yourself, making videos, and giving them their whole culinary life. Why are you not doing that? Why are you depriving the people? Huh? And I said to myself, because you know I talk to myself sometimes, myself talk back because I have a friend in me, period. If you got a problem with that, don't know what to tell you, okay? Hope you can have a good friend in yourself too, because baby, the friend in me loves the friend in me. <laughs> anyway, let me start messing with y'all. But yeah, myself said, yes, Coco, you need to start cooking and doing more videos because... For real, just go ahead and do this. Like, just do it. Anyway, so we got our potatoes. Them things are getting nice and crispy brown. I want my potatoes crispy. Okay, I like them with a little crisp on them. If you don't like yours with a little crisp on them, let them go ahead and cook for about a good mm, five, eight more minutes and put it off. But mine's, baby, mine's going to cook for about a good, another good, 12, 15 minutes. Want to know why? Because I love a good crust on them. All right. Thank you. Love the good crust. <laughs> this steak over here is staking though. I need y'all to know that. Not stinking. I said this steak is over here staking, baby. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It understands the mission. Understand me. You will when I show it to you. <laughs> but yes. Give me life. Give me life over here with the steak. Listen, I want y'all, if you have not, you know, promise I got more content coming. I'm going to be on it, on it, on it. I'm putting myself, I'm putting myself on a um, accountability list. Like, Coco, come on in. Cook this food, make these videos, get these people what they need, what they want. What they need, even if they don't know they want it. Mm, ah, okay. Anyway, but look, no, seriously, boom, get my sausage, y'all, get my sausage. I have three now, honey, lemon, pepper, filet and fire, buffalo, and sesame Asian sticky. If it's not from scratch, it's not Chef Coco Black, y'all already know that, though. Stop playing with me. Play with somebody else. Don't play with her. We be back. Let me get there, go. Let this stuff get the rocking and working like it needs to be. And I'll come back and show y'all what's going down, okay? Please know. These potatoes over here is looking like they ready for another flip. Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all see how crispy these potatoes is getting? Talk, who you talking to? Because you ain't talking to sheep. Not talking to the sheep shop, period. Hey. <laughs> okay, y'all, for real. Time to stop playing because we got to get back to it. Got to get right back to it. 
Okay, so our steak is moved. We got our potatoes. They are, yo, they're getting so crispy. I just want to start eating them out the pan. Actually, I think I will have one. You know, just a, ooh, child, baby. Mm. Flavors is giving me, I'm ready. I'm ready. Really ready? Hey. Yeah. Okay. Time to have fun, y'all. Whenever I eat steak, I love a good drunken vegetable. So we got us some good tequila. And listen, I don't drink tequila because it's too strong for me. But I love to cook with that stuff, okay? I'm definitely a vodka girl. Give me some rock. Thank you. Preferably peach with Red Bull or apple syrup with watermelon Red Bull, okay? Get y'all live. It's so good. If you ain't never had it, you better get your some. Okay, it's the 4th of July weekend. I know. I'm going to have me some before this weekend is up. Somewhere. Even if it is in my house. <laughs> anyway, so. All right, got my peppers and onions. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Got that, and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this tequila. Now, at home, <laughs> listen to me clearly. If you've never cooked with alcohol, don't be trying new stuff on the counter, me. But if you think you are ready to try it and you know that you're ready, you're going to be safe, this is the most thing you need to understand. When flame goes to alcohol, it's flambe's. That means the fire comes up. Do not have it close to your face. You chicks with them long eyelashes, whole bunch of long hair stuff, don't do it to yourself. I'm telling you, you going to be mad. <laughs> But anyway, so, oh, and get you a long, one of those long lighters. You know, one of the ones you be using for the grill or the long matches, whatever. But I'm confident and secure in what I'm doing. Like I said, do not try this at home if you're not ready for it. But anyway, go ahead. So what you want to do is you're going to put your desired amount of alcohol in there. Oh, but let me say this too. If you're working on a gas stove, if you are working with gas, open flame once you add that liquor in there it's gonna flambe right then you ain't got to worry about no lighter no match bits no none of that so make sure that you have your liquor together while you're pouring it already if you're on a gas stove anything with that open flame baby you better have control of that liquor while you're pouring it because soon as a piece of fire hit it it's gonna bloom okay know that know this the sheep shepherd told you now, I don't want you. Don't say I ain't want you. I'm going to turn these potatoes down a little bit because I'm raw. Oh, period. Oh, what you thought? Period. <laughs> the ratchet in me that came out. Uh, listen, I'm just going to be authentic with y'all from here on out because, listen, I can't keep trying to filter who I am for you people. Either you're going to like me, love me, hate me. Either way, it don't make a difference. I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to be Chic Chef, Chef Coco Black. It ain't going to take away from my talent or my skills. So guess what? Y'all get the real me now. Anyway, but did y'all like the way I just flick it over it? Uh, look at the, uh, uh, hold on. Because if I had something here that could flip, be flip we'd be double flipping. Bitch. Ah, no me, okay? <laughs> anyway, back to this here fire lesson. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more tequila. Because y'all done had me talking and stuff. And the tequila done probably just cooked down enough. Because the pan was hot. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to give y'all a nice little shout on one off. So anyway, again, hold it away from your face. Make sure there's nothing flammable around. Lighter. Uh-uh, tequila. Don't act up. I was about to say Zone that up. <laughs> so, that's a small flame. I put a small amount of tequila in there, and y'all see how it's flaming around the pan. That's because that's where the tequila is at. So, now, like I said, oh yeah, because like I said, I can flip with the left hand too, the non dominant hand. But yeah, so boom, easy. That's just, you know what I'm saying, because I love a good little drunken steak. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my steak, I'm going to put it back in this here pan. The little juices that then came off of the steak going back in the pan. And then guess what else about to go back in the pan? Y'all know I'm about to put some more tequila in that pan. 
because this state need to get a little bit of this action. Actiony, actiony. <laughs> anyway, here we go again. Boom. Yes, baby, baby, for that tequila drunken steak. Tequila drunken ribeye with the drunken vegetables. On the electric okay. stove like I am, which I hate electric stoves. Why do I keep moving in places with electric stoves? I don't know. But anyway, if you cook on electric stove like I do, make sure that you remove the pan from the stove. Even when you turn off the heat, baby, you turn off the heat source, but it's still yeah. hot. It's electric. Y'all remember that song? It's electric. You can't see it. It's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Hey, 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 okay? It's electric. So, remember, always move your pans. Always move your pans. Because if you don't, it's going to keep cooking, baby. It's going to be burning the earth. And you're going to be trying to figure out why... Why is my chicken dry? Or why is this steak overcooked? Or because you ain't moved the pan, girl. It was still cooking. Anyway. Here we go. Eggs. Listen, I'm going to tell you like this. If you don't already know to cook your eggs last, no matter what else you cooking, if you don't already know to cook them eggs last, ain't nothing I can do. It's nothing that I can do. <laughs> You already just don't need to be cooking nothing, none of the time, yeah. <laughs> oh, let me stop, y'all. If you are really new to the kitchen, just know, whatever you got cooking, if you are going to cook eggs with it, unless it's about to be boiled eggs and, and it don't have to be a certain temperature, it don't got to be hot, whatever. If you're going to cook eggs with it, the eggs need to be the last thing you cook. I mean the last thing. No, 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 no. I'm eggs. I have not had a good uh, over medium egg in a while. Every time I've been eating breakfast, every time I've been eating breakfast, y'all, no lie, I've been lazy, super black. <laughs> no, not, ho, ho, let me be clear what I'm saying. Not I've been super black because I've been lazy because we all know. That we have some of the best work ethic out there. We do. The ones of us that's about it, we're about it. Okay? I meant super lazy as far as just doing scrambled eggs every time, every time. Scrambled eggs. Okay? And I really have a taste for some over medium eggs. So, we're eating over medium eggs tonight. <laughs> I ain't had none in so long, y'all. It's gonna be so good when I break that yolk and it starts coming on out and I started dipping them potatoes in there. Yo, what y'all know about dipping? You better dip them, baby. Dip. Dip them potatoes. Dip them potatoes. Dip them potatoes. Oh, loves me a good yolk. Runny yolk. Love it. And hold on, y'all. I be back with the special the flip edge, y'all. No lie. I bust the yolks. <laughs> I did not originally learn how to flip eggs using the spatula, so it just never really works right for me. And um, I kind of like my over medium eggs. First of all, y'all, I didn't use butter, I used oil. And not for any specific reason, like I prefer oil over butter when I'm doing eggs, because I really prefer butter. To tell you the truth, I just forgot to buy some butter. I ran out, forgot to buy some more. <laughs> it happens. Use olive oil. Boom. So, we're flipped. Did y'all catch that? Oh, was it not even in the camera? My bad, y'all, if it wasn't in the camera. But real flip. So, boop, boop. We're going to let them eggs cook for no time for real for I'm going to go ahead and actually turn the fire off or whatever and uh, get my plate and start plating because I'm hungry. And it's sad to plate because it's almost time to eat. Almost time to eat. Y'all know I get happy when it's time to eat. Y'all know I get happy when it's sad to eat. Hey. All right, y'all. So I'm ready to dig in. I know y'all want to know what this, uh, what this life is about. Oh, my. Oh, y'all see that? Oh, my goodness. That's what I've been waiting on. This is what I've been waiting on. Some good yolk. Oh. And some nice hash hold on y'all because you know I gotta thank the Lord for this good food. 
Thank you, Lord, for this food that I'm about to receive. Thank you for the blessed hands that you've given me to receive it and create with. Thank you so much for everything you do. Amen. Let's go. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But for real, let's get into the steak. Let's just get into it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Baby, let it burn my ostra. Mmm. How y'all like y'all steak? What temp? I like medium. When I'm doing breakfast steak, though. If I'm gonna do it with a runny egg, I do it close to medium well. Because different textures for different things. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Cooking with Coco. Promise we got way more coming, way more deliciousness, way more fun. It's gonna be more than just food. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all kick it with me and see what's going on in the life of your girl. Thanks. I'll see y'all next time. Mm, 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 mm. I really wish y'all could taste this. Shit, fire. Fire, baby! See y'all next time. <laughs> Bye.